Let me get a Fuck! Just trying to go to Mars, man. Leave me alone. Uh, I'll just use the proximity grenade strategy again. <sighs> this is a much less exciting, intense stream than I was hoping for. Because we're not allowed to go to Mars. The aliens are like, nope, not happening. So we're just sitting around waiting for our researchers to get off their asses. Some of these guys can't even carry a smoke grenade. Waiting for our researchers to get off their asses and finish the research so we can go to Mars. I really... The heavy plasma is... whatever, but I really need that blaster. We don't need, but like, I really want the blaster before we go to Mars. Alright, so this layout's about the same, except it's condensed. Get the tank to have a quick look. Holy shit. They were three rolls. So I don't think we've encountered them on stream before, but ethereals are kind of like, as I've, I think I explained this the same way another time, they're kind of like um, sectoid leaders, except all of them are sectoid leaders in terms of like their psi abilities. Um, if you do like an autopsy or interrogation, you it says that they're physically quite weak, but that's kind of bullshit. The stats are not bad. So, yeah. This is gonna be a fun time. Second tank. It's nice that everyone's a bit closer this time though. Oh no, I hope I hope people don't get mind controlled and that they, they throw proximity grenades. If they throw proximity grenades, I can't move around without, like... How do you even destroy that? You have to... I don't know if you can shoot grenades off of the ground. Maybe you can. It's possible I did this, like I shot a grenade off the ground in one of the previous space defenses. I didn't move past the grenade. There we go. See, no one died there. Because ethereals are not as weak as ah uh, fuck ethereals are not as weak as um I think it's the first tank as sectoids even though it, it says in the bio that they're physically weak. Why did they make floater sounds when they move? That was not in the fuck. Wait, no, that was just a smoke grenade. Okay, that's not too bad. If it was a boxy mini grenade, it would really suck. You mind controlled? Yes. Okay. Uh, I actually want that guy to use his grenade, so I'll get him to shoot last. Hopefully we can kill these guys without having to use... I don't know I'm wincing at that, because that's just a laser. Lasers don't do much damage. Uh, okay, so I'll use this guy to take a look down the corridor. It's just the one. Oh, no, it's not just the one. Um. <laughs> uh, throw and run, maybe? Sprint out of there. Not a very long sprint. I don't know if grenades blow each other up on this version of the game. I'm guessing they probably do, in which case I can't throw that. Uh, the alien we're seeing is just our friend, so that's fine. Well, I mean, it's not good, but it's, you know, it's fine. Mind control began. And we got one with the proximity grenade. Another mind control. Ah, oh, please don't. You'll be fine, like, it's almost impossible to kill someone with a laser rifle if they're wearing power armor. It's just frustrating. Uh, you... Heck 
got an ethereal. And then like, I guess go back into hiding. Please stop shooting me. Two fatal wounds. Uh, I might stick the tank in the back. Uh, what's the priority here? Probably to get this guy healed. Uh, one of these guys is mind control, this one. It's fine. Oh, you don't have a med kit. What about you? You panicked. Um, what about you? No med kit. Does this base have no med kits? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is an active grenade. <laughs> we'll just put it in our pocket. No big deal. How did I open the door from there? What the hell? Let's chuck that on the ground. Proximity grenade back in hand. Okay. Uh, I press shift again. Sprint out using control because that's the sprint button. Throw your grenade. And then sprint back away. To safety. Mind control. There's quite a few of them in the lift. I don't know why I keep showing my mind controlled guy. <laughs> They're throwing smoke grenades. Oh, friendly fire, yes please. Dude, that's a lot of ethereals. Oh, I just want to go to Mars, man. Am I asking too much trying to get to your base and kill all of you for good? Like, come on, man. Um. Okay, so that guy back there is mind controlled. We're running out of proximity grenades is my biggest concern, actually. Uh, sprint. Throw grenade. Run away. Keep running. The tank survived, surprisingly. I'm very surprised the ethereal survived. <laughs> tank gun does like 200 damage. Physically weak my ass. So there's still at least four of them. At least three of them. Thank you for the friendly fire. They're throwing smoke grenades in the back again. My tank will probably die soon. One of my guys is going berserk. Wonderful. You know the drill. Sprint. Try not to die. Throw a grenade. Try not to- oh shit, you're out of time units. Well, you're probably dead. Not gonna lie to you, buddy. Um, people who are already throwing their grenades should probably start isolating themselves. Because we're gonna need people with guns at some point. And where the hell is your gun? Do we have spares somewhere? No. <laughs> Great. At least this guy has a spare grenade. Yeah, they panicked, they lost their gun, and now it's somewhere. I don't see any guns on the ground, other than the ones that are down here. So, I, I mean, they're kind of useless now, unless there's a gun there, no. Um, whatever, it'll do. Having the smoke there is good. Because, um... If I can knock the aliens out, that's almost as good as killing them. And the way knocking out works is... Oh, well, in relation to smoke. Uh, let's... Who's been breathing smoke? None of you, because... Okay, power suits are smoke immune. But, um... You, when you breathe in smoke, you get a little bit of stun damage on your health bar. It's just like a white section of the bar, kind of like how this one's transparent, except it'll be white. Um, 
when the entire bar is white, you fall unconscious. But if you if you have a little bit of stun damage and then you get legitimately injured by damage, you're more likely to get stunned. Um, it basically just reduces the threshold to neutralize an enemy, not necessarily kill them, but neutralize them. There's a spare gun back there. That's probably from the leader that panicked. I'm just gonna make a blind shot in case someone's. Wow. I was gonna say, in case someone's there. Those doors are not easy to destroy, I was under the impression. Maybe they are, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought they were difficult to destroy. Hmm. Proximity grenade didn't kill anything. Wow. That's ultimate betrayal. Walking into the aliens. Because of oh shit, we're out of proximity grenades. Well, this mission just got more interesting. And not in a good way. Try to find your gun. Oh wait, this, you have a gun. Who's missing a gun? You Might be along this wall here. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, just hide in the corner. If it comes to it, she can pick up a gun off someone who dies. It's a little morbid, but... We're fighting for our lives here, so... She'll get over it. Just wanna go to Mars, man. <laughs> that was a blaster. They panicked, shot a blaster. And uh, it, it did some damage. The walls are kind of missing now. It's Nick. Hello. I don't know how old your chat is. I don't know time stands. Who's there? I don't... Oh, right in the middle, what the hell? It's like the same color as the explosion. Um... So I think there's three known guys left. There might be more after that. My tank's gonna die if it takes too many shots like that. It doesn't do much damage, but... Fire enough shots, it's gonna work eventually. I'm out of the. I'm out of start hunting them down so my guys don't just shoot each other to death. I guess the tank is good for that, except this guy's fucking blocking the way. What an asshole. Alright, let's go hunting. I just sent two guys. If they die, then I still have most of my squad left. Hello. So he just casually survived two laser shots. But no, the bio... The bio says they're physically weak! Uh what bullshit. Oh shit. So this is something we, we've never seen on stream before, definitely. It's a sectopod. I'm kind of surprised to see it here, to be honest. Um, it's a bit like a cyber disk, except instead of floating and exploding, it just has a shit ton of armor on it, so it's really difficult to kill. Um, and it is robotic, so like you can't mind control it or anything like that. <laughs> this is literally a demonstration of what not to do in, in Siege. My angle's too short, so I can't see the guy that's shooting me. Uh, there is a slight vulnerability of sector pods to lasers, so even though lasers do half damage to plasma against sector pods, I think the damage is similar. 
Or maybe that was cyber discs. I don't remember. Like, look how many shots that thing is taking. Those are all direct hits. <sighs> One of my guys I sent got mind controlled. Good lord. There's one ethereal back there. There's a gun on the ground, which means there's another ethereal back there with no gun. But they have, you know, mind control, so they don't need guns. There's my sector pod. <laughs> and my rookies can't shoot for shit. You'd think they could make a shooting range on the base. So that people could, you know, train. Fuck. There's another sector pod. But what I can do is sacrifice this guy. Kill the ethereal. And apparently I don't even need to sacrifice him. Um, this guy's still panicking, so the tank still can't get there. But I'll send some more guys to take care of the sector pods. You just get four guys with the tank, and the other four... four? I guess it doesn't count when two of them don't have weapons. Five, you don't have weapons either. Okay, so I have two more guns back there. They can figure it out if everything goes to shit. He didn't die. I'm a little surprised at that. There's the uh, stun damage, by the way. Oh my god. Dead. Um, if I had finished the heavy plasma research, I could pick that up off the ground, but I haven't, so I can't. <laughs> oh my god. That thing is still not dead. Oh, I just want to go to Mars. Uh, why is this game so hard? It's not hard, it's just rude. Why is this game so rude? I'll let the tank to go through the door. Get vision of the thing that's not there anymore. I don't understand. None of them can see it, but we know that it's there doesn't really make any sense. Please die. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. Oh, my tank's boomed. Oh hey, I only shot once. Maybe we'll be fine. Hello. Actually, maybe I should be preserving my tank, because my tank does way more damage than anything else I have. Uh, 19. So we can walk once and shoot. Wait, no, twice, three times and shoot. I'm just going to start sacrificing people. I want this to be over. I'm starting to think that my laser rifles might actually not do damage, though. This is sustained like 15 hits, and it's not dead yet. But the, uh, the tank's gun does a lot more damage than the handhelds. Uh, please don't kill me. Hey, one down, okay. There's still the, the pistol on the ground though, which implies there's still another ethereal, unless, I don't know, he's one of the other ones we killed, maybe. No, not the tank. Kill the people. Kill the people. Let the tank live. Uh, yeah, let's just start suiciding people. Dude, I want this to be over. I want to go to fucking Mars. 
Let's bring the guys with guns. Okay, there's a gun on the ground. There. There might be another one on that corpse. Take a look. And we'll take a look at... Oh, this guy recently died, so that definitely has a gun on it. We'll use that. And I'll keep this one, two people here. Just in case this all goes horribly wrong. And if that happens, then I have like 10 smoke grenades worth of corpses. The... Wow. I don't know how you survived that. <laughs> but good job. Proud of you. Solid XCOM soldier. Yes, the map yet. Oh my god. Okay. Back to doing nothing. Actually. Which base was that? No. Uh, painted mines. I'm gonna need to buy some more soldiers. I'll just overkill it. Uh, two more. Just so if they hit it. <laughs> Fuck! I wanna go to Mars, damn it! <laughs> 